Hello and welcome to the video. Um, so I just want to say this is Future Lou. Um, I filmed this vlog way back in December when I just come home from uni um, and for some reason I can't seem to find my intro video. I don't really know where I put it. Um, so here's the intro video right now. I do seem to remember that I woke up at like 6.30 on this day which is not usual but um, yeah it was a very productive day and I did lots of different things. So yeah so just to say this was filmed back in December but yeah, pretty much the circumstances are the same for many, many different uni students. So I hope you enjoy my vlog of what it is like to study at university, but being at home because of coronavirus and everything. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. So there's my bowl of cereal, I'm having muesli with some Greek yogurt and then some seeds and nuts and yeah that's how I like to start off my morning. When I'm eating my breakfast in the morning I try not to make it a rush because my life is so crazy in terms of constant deadlines and working that I try to establish like a good morning routine um, and often in the morning I will often check the news because I know a lot of people don't like reading the news but I personally feel more comforted if I'm in the know. I try not to make the mornings rush because I want to be able to enjoy my breakfast. I think also there's something quite nice about having like a really nice calm morning routine and then getting on with your actual work. This is really good. One thing I do like is I always make sure I have breakfast. Um, I just find it sets me up for a good day and it often means that like I eat better if I eat breakfast because then I'm not like craving we don't get really hungry and then I just snuck on something that I shouldn't do. But I do hate the way that I eat my breakfast in the dark. It does make me feel like I'm, you know, like on a summer holiday when you get up really early to get, get that like early morning aeroplane ride and then you're having to like stuff some breakfast down your face before you go because your mom's like, no, you don't like the airport food. Yeah. But do like savings, I guess. Okay, so now that I've gotten ready, I'm gonna try and hitch a ride with my dad into town because he's leaving right now. Um, so I'm late, so I'm gonna quickly put on my shoes, get my mask, etc., and then uh, hopefully get to town. It is so quiet this morning. There's hardly anyone out, even though it's eight o'clock and it's usually like time for the kids to go to school. And a couple of the school kids, but other than that, it's so quiet. So I've just been to Lidl to get some bread. Uh, and I'm not going to Waitrose because I need some stamps, but stamps are so expensive! But I want to get Christmassy stamps, but then they're even more expensive! So, I just have to wait and see, then I think I'm going to get myself a nice cup of coffee from Coffee Number no. One, which is my, one of my favourite chains. Because, um, I mean, it's still a chain, but it's like not as commercial as maybe other chains, and they often have quite good sustainable coffee beans fair trade today's also the day first day that vaccinations are being rolled out which is historic day also known as v day which is quite funny i need to find some hand gel hand sanitizer right i'm gonna go get some stamps done i am so not used to such a quick turnaround in shops because everything seems to take double the length of time in the city <laughs> in Birmingham um, that was so quick I literally walked in and then I like got distracted by all the Christmas stuff because I love Christmas food it's one of my favorite things and every year especially Waitrose seem to just get out the most easy flavors things that you're like why would you ever think about doing like candied orange in a truffle but then it happens and then you're like why hasn't this happened before look how pretty the sky is the sky is so pretty it is literally is the light going to come on to me? Great. 
Uh, it's 20 past eight in the morning. And yeah, I feel good, feeling fresh. Even though it's quite cold, you can kind of see my breath. It is, oh, and you can see the moon as well. I kind of like these kind of wintry mornings. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to get coffee number one because it's a cold wintry morning. This Tuesday, she's coming around here. No, she's not, she signaled the wrong way. Just went past our local um, fruit and veg store, like the, the ones, the market. They are out like, like every single day till about one. Um, and then I was like, have you got any cranberries? Because I make my famous cranberry and port sauce. Hang on, I'm gonna have to stop here. Um, and my, so cranberries don't come into season until like late, later on in like November, December. And I was like, please, have you got any cranberries? Like I, I make a really good cranberry and port sauce that I need for Christmas. Um, and then he'd pulled out this tiny punnet and was like, yeah, it's £1.50 a punnet. I'm like, I can only like five of those. I'm like, what the heck? So, either I wait for the price to go down or I haggle. Oh my goodness, there's so much frost. It's all melting now that the sun's out. Look at the sun, it's so gorgeous this morning. Very cold, my hands are absolutely freezing, but thankfully I managed to find some, um, what they call gloves in my coat pocket. Um, but yeah, like cranberries are so expensive. One pound fifty, I swear they go up every single year. Like first year I made them. God, it must be like five years ago and it was like proper cheap to get the cranberries. Now every year, I swear, I'm like, oof, it's a bit steep. Or it might be just that I'm just more aware of money. Mm, that might be it. Okay, so the time is now quarter to nine exactly. And I need to reply to a couple of emails, message a couple of people. Um, and then it's about an hour until I'm leading a meeting. So um, hopefully I'll be ready. I don't know, I am ready. I'm already ready. I forgot I wrote my agenda last night because she was thinking. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of admin work and have my coffee. Done it. Perfect. So I've done a bit of admin and now I'm gonna get ready for my meeting. Oh, it is so <laughs> sunny right now. Um, I've just had my meeting. Ow! I just kicked the table. <laughs> um, I just had my meeting with um, my society and it went really well. Um, we've got a lot of things planned for Christmas, which is great because Christmas is one of my favorite times, if not my favorite time of the year. I love it. It's just so like, who doesn't love Christmas? The sun, if the sun is shining like this, which I'm loving at the moment, and you have coffee, you can wrap it warm, you can wear like burn orange and it be part of the vibe. I love it, I love it. I've now got a couple of minutes, like 45 minutes until my interview. <laughs> have I even explained what I'm doing? I don't know, basically, crazy story. For my dissertation, I'm doing Robin Hood. And um, I started reading, um, let me just grab the book. I started reading this book here. I know, look at all these tabs, this is ridiculous. I started reading this book here called Outlaw. And um, I was basically just like speaking to my auntie, I think um, in summer, just about my dissertation and everything. And then I was basically just like, so I started reading like this book called Outlaw by, and then she was like, oh, Angus Donald. I'm like, yeah, how would you know? Have you read the books? And she's like, no, I know his wife. His wife's my best friend. And I was like, and then she was like, I can get you his email address and then you can like message him. I was like, that would be fab, that would be so good. I'm interviewing him about his Outlaw Chronicles, which is super exciting, but also terrifying at the same time. Okay, so I've just finished the interview with the author. It went really, really well. It was super interesting. It was actually so much more useful than I expected it to be. For some reason, I just, I, I don't know why, even though he's a historical writer, I was expecting him to not talk about like the medieval literature and his history sources as much, but it was so useful. And oh, I'm so glad I'm doing this project. It's just uh, something so interesting to me. Um, so yeah, it is coming up to half past 12 now. Oh, the morning is gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put the stamps on my cards and then um, I might go for a little walk um, before lunch because I kind of want to clear my head a little bit.
So for my lunch, um, I'm having homemade soup. I think this is carrot and apple, I think. Some salad, a piece of bread and Bake Off. I haven't yet watched Bake Off, so I need to see the final. I know who won, unfortunately, but I'm gonna enjoy a nice break. Not breakfast. What is this? Lunch. I am actually now gonna go for a walk. Um, <laughs> I just got too into Bake Off. Oops, it's now this time. Half past one. It's fine, right? I've had quite a long break, which is not very good, but I really want to, let me put this down here. I really want to post my letters for the thingy of Bob, for the postman come. And I want to have a walk because it's always dark at like by four. So if I go now, I can actually like get some walking in. Cause it's always dark by four, that's the thing. Like in summer, like I would literally go out at four. Now that the interview is over, I don't actually have like a massive amount of work to do. I have deadlines, so I guess that those are work. But in terms of like actual like module work, I've got, I need to read War Horse by Michael Monpergo, which is like, is War Horse. So <laughs> my trainers are absolutely covered in mud. These are like my really fancy mancy's trainers. So let's talk careers. Let's talk being a university student and what it is like trying to figure out careers right now. In terms of careers during this time of Corona, it's really difficult to kind of try to figure out what is going on and what you want to do for a career. I think especially because at the moment there are so much there's so much uncertainty in so many industries and particularly within like the arts industry um there's just no really like not really many options um i mean obviously today is v day um vaccine day so i guess there is some kind of hope that there might be change and there might be things happening which we all need <laughs> i feel like there's so and it's not just drama, but I'm, I'm coming from a drama point of view, obviously, because that's my... Oh, he's going very quickly. I think in a way for me, like, Corona kind of established what I wanted to do in, in my career because I was kind of t like trying to toy up the idea between like, do I go into theatre? Do I go into TV, media, film? radio that kind of thing and um, because of corona it kind of made my decision for me where i was like there's always going to be a space for media and for tv because like that's what people consume more much more so than um theater and so whilst i still love the theater and you know who knows like in the future it may be that i like going to work in theater i don't think that the career you choose when you get out of uni is the career path you necessarily stay in for the rest of your life. And I also think that like, we're kind of going past the age of where like, one, you know, <laughs> you know, the butcher is the butcher because his family is, you know, the family butchers. <clears throat> I feel like we're very much in this space and in this time where we have the ability to be able to cross over and sort of like use all our different skills in different um, skill sets and jobs and everything. Um, I love living in the countryside. <laughs> Being showed up by cows. Um, oh God, they don't have stink though, don't they? If you are, I'd say if you're a student and you're worried about a career right now, honestly, as hard as this sounds, like honestly, like we're all in it together and we're all facing the same struggles. I feel like the sun is not on my side today. There we go. Lovely. So I'm sending off loads of Christmas cards and on the back I drew a little um, reindeer, <laughs> um, Rudolph. Um, yeah, because I feel like, you know, we've all gone home. So it's really nice to be able to send people cards and be like, I'm still thinking of you for Christmas. But also like, I don't know, there's something about receiving a physical card, which is just like, so much better like letters and cards are just i i personally feel like they're still so special and i know that within my friendship group people are still thinking that so hopefully like that's something that still continues like even though just got attacked even though like we've obviously got technology which is 
far cheaper and easier. Can you hear the sheep? What are they doing? Girl, what is it? What do you need? It's so pretty, like at the moment, it's a very wintry day and uh, I've got another hill to go up. Actually, I've got two more hills to go up and then it's all downhill, but then recently I've been falling over a lot. So <laughs> I feel like maybe I should just stick to the uphill part. I was just thinking as I was just listening to my music, like, does anyone remember the time when you were like 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe, like maybe even up to 18, where like you felt a pressure to listen to certain kinds of music. Basically just like everything that's in the charts. And like, <laughs> I have such a distinct memory of when I was maybe like, I was definitely 13 or 14. And we had, um, we had PE and like people were like, who wants to be in charge of the music next week? And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Um, <laughs> And like I had like a little uh, iPod Nano, which I still use because it's got all my Harry Potter audiobooks on. Um, and I like rarely updated it because it was all just like Harry Potter audiobooks or show tunes um, and a bit of like old Taylor Swift. Um, and that was pretty much it uh, on my iPod Nano. And I remember like I tried to find some of the songs that were like quite upbeat and everything and like made a playlist. And uh, this one guy in particular, oh my gosh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Literally was like, oh Louise, like you're so bad at music. What even is this? Like, loads of the guys are like, oh, she's got terrible music taste. Like what is going on? And I look back at it now and I'm like, why, why, was, why are we being judged on our music taste? Why is that something that needs to be judged? Like I look at Spotify wrapped of all my friends and every single person is different. No one listens to the same thing. Everyone listens to their own thing. And like, I don't know, like, if, does that still happen? Like, is that still a thing? Like when you're at school? I don't know, I should ask my cousins, but like, it's the weirdest thing because it's just like when you grow older, people have more respect for you if you listen to your own music and the things that you like. And like, honestly, listening to chart music, I honestly know so many people being like, chart music's bad. Like, like bring back the 90s. Like I love show tunes and I love movie soundtracks. And I like listening to like 2000s pop. Okay, I'm back home now and it's about half past two. So I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of work. I've got some work on Warhorse, Michael Morpurgo. Um, I'm halfway through the book of reading it, but it really shouldn't take me that long because it's a children's novel. But yeah, I'm just gonna spend this afternoon working basically until maybe like 6.30. Um, so it's like a good four hours or so. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna be making dinner and then yeah, that'll just be the evening portion. <laughs> so yeah, not really interesting for the rest of the day, but. Anyway, I'm just going to get on with some work. Okay, so I've got my afternoon snack, which is cut up apple and peanut butter. This is organic peanut butter as well. It's very bougie. Um, this is just one of my favorite snacks because it's healthy, but it, it's nice and tasty. So it's like sweet, but also salty. Like it's really good. And um, turn out okay. The time is quarter to four and it's definitely getting a lot darker now. My thoughts are, I might just read War Horse because I feel like reading, which doesn't often happen because I have to read so much for my degree. Um, no, actually I tell you what, I am a bit miffed that they haven't put up my lecture yet and they always do this they put up the lecture the day before and i'm like you have a whole week to be able to put up the lecture and you decide to put it up only 24 hours before the seminar so that's really annoying So the time is half past 10 and I'm so ready for bed. I've had a long day. It's been several, several hours since I've been in bed. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, it's been a pretty long one for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing what it's like 
uh, being a university student working at home. Until the next video, bye!